<laughs> Guys, therapy is really important. Carolyn talked about therapy. Everyone's got to go. It's not just for emergencies anymore. In, in terms of red... In terms of red flags, not being in therapy is the new being in therapy, you know? Um, it's very important because, let's be honest, the years can be relentless. I think a philosopher from the 90s once said, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, somebody once told me. <laughs> Therapy is important because the thing your parents never told you growing up, but which each of you realized at different points in your life, is that the decades are just using your brain as a throughway to the next century, and along the way, the roadside trash piles up. Right? And you can't delete that shit. All you can do is rearrange it, right? And that's why therapy is so important because if you accidentally live too long, you wake up one day stepping through a Pacific trash continent of your own neglected traumas and exaggerated disappointments, wondering why you hadn't spent the last 30 years arranging everything into a more hospitable campground of emotional clutter. Instead, you have to go to sleep on top of the psychological equivalent of a wet pile of Natty Light 30 pack boxes. <laughs> so go to therapy before your brain turns into that documentary about Woodstock 99. <laughs> when I'm at therapy, I discuss anger management because from time to time, I still engage in a form of self-harm called opening up Google News. <laughs> You guys do this? I don't recommend it. When you accidentally read the news, you start to realize that you're powerless to control any of the most important things in the world, and that gets replaced with a series of tiny meltdowns about the most unimportant things in your day-to-day -day life. Like, for example, a few months ago, I was on Amazon, and I was looking at this um, battery-operated toothbrush, and the, uh, the little blurb next to the thing said, um, it said, this toothbrush is ultra cordless. <laughs> right? And as my left eye filled up with hemorrhage blood, <laughs> I, all I could think of is like, I'm an English major. I happen to know that cordless is not one of those adjectives that gets modified by an adverb, <laughs> right? There are not varying degrees of cordlessness. <laughs> Things are either cordless or not cordless. It's not like, how cordless is your toothbrush? It's so very cordless. It's extremely cordless. My new toothbrush is so cordless that it makes my old toothbrush look like a messy tangle of Christmas lights. <laughs> So therapy's going great. 